welcome students so today we are going to learn about the binary files and how to handle the binary files in python now basically what are binary files binary files are basically files which are directly written into the bytecode okay so it's not like a text file where we write the data onto a text file and open and see the text file and we can see the data onto the text file binary file when we do the writing into a file the basically the data is directly into the you know into the uh, code bytes and it is in non readable form okay and uh, binary files basically save a lot of uh, space so when we do a writing on to a binary files they take a lot of less space i mean they take a very less space as compared to the text file because text file the data is stored into the i mean the data is into the ascii form okay there is a difference so we are going to handle the binary file using python the very first module that we are going to use is the pickle module okay so that's the p i c k l e pickle that's the module that we require for handling the binary files and then i'm going to open a file into the append mode okay and i'm going to call this file that is student.dat and i'm going to open this file in not in just w mode but wb mode so when i say wb is basically it will mean that this is a binary file what i'm trying to do out here is the question that we had in this sample question paper and that was uh, this was related to book and this was related to the student and this is the binary file so i have taken this one that is student.dat and it says that there is a binary file that is student.dat which has a structure okay like this one that is a you know admission number comma name comma percentage okay and uh, write a function that is count a rec in python that would read contents of the file and display the details of the those students whose percentage is above 75 also display the number of students scoring above 75 now there are various ways we can do this we can do this with a list and we can also do this with the help of a dictionary for storing this data i mean for collecting this data i'm talking about the collection of the data and then we will store the data in a binary file so how we are going to do is i am going to make use of a dictionary okay and uh, the data that i am going to collect is that is the admission number name and percentage that's it so let us go ahead have a empty dictionary now what i am doing out here is basically i am going to first write the data onto the file and this question that we have over here is only for reading the data from the file but since we are learning about the file handling first we are going to learn how to write the data onto a file and then we will, we are going to read the data from the file okay so this what i am doing out here is not what the question is the question is about reading the data but right now i am writing the data okay so first write the data let us do some uh, data entry into the file and then we will read the data okay then what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a while loop let us have a while loop and this while loop is going to be true all the time till the time the user says no and uh, this is something that we are going to ask the user to enter the data of the students so i'm going to say like reg number which is the registration number and i'm going to say input enter that is uh, registration number okay and then i'm going to have the student name so i will simply say is input enter student name okay and then i'm going to say percentage so we we are going to enter the percentage of the students i will take this as a floating value okay or let us keep it simple i will have a, as a whole number okay enter percentage 
So these are the three input that I'm going to take and then I'm going to create a dictionary out of this. How I'm going to create a dictionary that is D, okay, D of that is reg and I'm going to say over here reg number. Now this is actually the key, okay, the reg number and the value that I'm going to provide the, to this is the value that I'm going to take from the user. So I will need to copy this now and paste it three times and this I'm going to change to name and this will be name. So key and value, key and value pair, right? And this is going to be the, I'll just keep it as per and this is going to be the variable name is percentage out here. Okay, so that's the uh, how I'm denoting that. Okay, so registration number, name, reg number, name, per, that is the, these are the keys and these are the values. And then I'm going to say something like, you know, just to break the loop, I will take a choice from the customer, whether the customer wants to continue or not. So I will say something like input and enter, do you want to continue something like this? Do you want to continue? Okay, and yes, no will be there. So I'm not going to much of the validation process. So <coughs> I will only say if choice is equal to, if it is Y, then continue, it will continue the loop. Else what I'm going to do is I'm going to break the loop. Okay, and that's it. So after doing all that, okay, in fact, after this line, what I'm going to do is I have all the data into dictionary. Now I'm going to dump this data onto the file that is student.tat. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to say fin, okay, is equal to pickle, that's the module, dot, and the method name is dump itself. Dump, I'm going to dump that is the okay I don't require fin out here simply pickle dot trump and uh, d comma and the file handler okay uh, hopefully this is right syntax so let me just run this so this is basically going to write that particular object into the file okay and what is the object the object is the dictionary Okay, let me just run this and I will call this write binary.py. Okay, but I already have this file, just a minute. So I'm going to say this uh, binary write.py, binary write. Okay, now let us just give some data. I will say one name is Ajay, percentage is 76. Do you want to continue? Yes, I want to continue. So again, the re registration number is two. If I'll give something like BJ. Percentage, I'll give like 60. Do you want to continue? Yes, I want to continue. Uh, three registration name is Nitin. And uh, percentage, I'll give something like 80%. And do you want to continue? Yes, I want to continue. Four, uh, the name is Mahesh or Mukesh and percentage i'll give like 60 okay and do you want to continue okay let's give one more that is five so let us have five records okay and uh, the student name out here uh, will be uh, aditya and the percentage is uh, 70 okay do you want to continue no this time and that's the loop breaks and now what we going we are going to do is let me just check the file what is that student dot dat okay student dot dat let me just check that okay so this is student dot dat and i have already opened that okay student dot dat uh, that is right mode okay just a minute That was all files student. There will be one more file. Okay. 
okay we did not close the file that was this uh, fin dot close okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that file this was one of the previous file actually I created so maybe some issues are there I will just delete that file go to all and uh, that is student that is this one and let me delete this file okay so I've deleted the file and also we need to close the file now let me just run this this time I'm just going to enter one data and let's see if it works or not okay this is 75 and no okay now let me just open the file uh, go for all files and over here we have okay now over here what it is saying is you know that it is not in the right format this is because this is a binary file so what I'm going to do is the moment I click on cancel you can see this data now this kind of data it's like an unreadable form because this is directly into the byte code okay and you're going to see something like this so you cannot actually see the text file because this is not a text file this is a binary file okay so I have successfully returned the you know the data onto the file and what I'm going to do next time is this is the code I'm going to make this as a B because now I want to append it even if I have I would have done this before it won't make any problem as such okay now I'm going to append that file so I'm going to save this and now let me give some more data to uh, pj and this is a t continue three uh, cash and percentage is 60 uh, yes I want to continue and uh, this time this is 4 and uh, Nitin that is 80 and one more uh, registration number is 5 and Aditya and percentage is 70 okay so that's it so there are around 5 records now and uh, so there is no point of actually opening the text file because it is into the byte code. Now we have successfully written five records in the file. Okay, five records we have written in the file. This is the code that I wrote for writing the data onto the file. Now comes the question that was asked in the paper that is this one so there is a file that is student.dat and we have just created the student.dat we also have dumped some of the data onto the file and now we are going to write a function that is count a rec which would read the contents of the file so how we are going to do that let us open one more file a new python file and now we are going to write a fresh code a new program out here okay so for this also I require the module that is the pickle module and um, okay I gave a wrong this thing the handle was fin it should be f out I wrote it as fin that is f in but it won't make any difference so anyway I'm going to say fin and I'm going to open this file I'll copy this and paste it out here and this time I'm going to say that is rb okay rb means read mode okay that is a binary file okay and i'm going to use a try and accept because they're going to read the file all the records from the file inside this what i'm going to do is okay what i'm going to do inside this is i'm going to say d is equal to okay d is equal to fin dot sorry that will be pickle dot load pickle dot load over here it will be d and here it should be fin okay but this should be d and this should be Okay, that's the proper syntax.
okay so so pickle dot load and uh, this is going to read the data from to, uh, from the file now we are actually reading the dictionaries and giving it to d so d will have the first record basically and what i'm going to do is let me just print the d and we will see whether this works or not and this is completely going to be inside a while loop okay and uh, this is going to be inside the while loop and this will go on till the end of the file so i'm going to have an accept and over here what i'm going to do is pin dot i'm going to say close that's it okay let me just run this and once it runs successfully I'm, i will just try to explain it okay so binary binary write or binary read dot py now this is an another program please make sure that okay and you can see that it has effectively effectively it has read or it has read all the records so this was the records that we had entered in the file using this program isn't it this was the program and now there is a new program which we are reading the the dictionaries and we are displaying the dictionaries okay this is a bit confusing at initial phase but then it takes a bit of practice for you to get used to all this okay and uh, now since we have the data in the dictionary we can do the coding for the rest of the thing that is okay they have asked for the uh, count rec so i would suggest you can simply write a function inside that function put this code simple as that okay so i will go to the core problem that is they want to display they want to display the students read the contents and display the details of those students whose percentage is above 75 so how we going to do that now we have the dictionary so i will simply add a condition that is d of that is d of that was the name of the key was per if you can remember if it is equal to or it is greater than 75 only in that case print it and let us have one counter so that we can also count how many students have the percentage above above 75 so this will be plus equal to 1 so i hope this will going to solve the problem for us so we have two students and uh, you can see this is 80 and 80 isn't it so you can actually display the data in a much better format and uh, count we had so outside this somewhere out here i can say that the total the total number of students above 75 are and count that's it that was the question that was the answer for the question but you have to put this entire code inside the function okay so total number of students above 75 are 2 and these are the students that is Vijay and Nitin that's it so this is how you have you can work with a binary files so I hope that this is uh, clear to you and uh, it will just take a bit of practice so I have shown you how you can write the data onto the file this is the code for writing the data onto the file and this is the code for reading the data onto the file now if the question is what is uh, you know in the sample paper they have only asked you to read the data from the file so all you need to do is only write this code that is reading the data and displaying the data and you can just you know using the comments you can assume okay i'm assuming that the key value is per or if it is a, a list so in that case you can just use that index value right 0 1 2 so this would be if this is a list so this will be only you know d of 2 are you getting it so that is all that we have that is how you can handle the binary files in the future we will work more on binary files we are uh, now since that the school has opened so in the school also you can ask me the doubts so we will take this again okay so that's it for today bye for now